subscribing to the youtube channel or if you found me by um surprise or if you are just going through youtube and maybe search something and found me welcome i'm going to take you through my nighttime skincare routine my morning skincare routine and my body care routine welcome and let's dive into it here i'm going in with the bath and body works uh, forming hand hand wash and it's what I use to wash my hands just before I do my skincare routine and also wash my glasses. Ladies, for those of us who wear glasses, do not forget to wash your glasses then. Okay, here you see me going in with my rice water oil cleanser. It's good for breaking down the makeup. It breaks down the makeup so well. And uh, you can see me going in through the eyelashes so that it's easy to remove and it's the ghetto. To just yank your eyelashes off so you see me going in there just going slowly into it and um, continuing to break down my makeup the lipstick the eyeshadow I go in with another pump and just go in and uh, break down the makeup and yeah just go in Mm -hmm. and then here you can see I emulsified it with a bit of water just before rinsing the face so that it um, cleanses it even deeper then here I'm going in with my La Roche Pose foaming cleanser just like uh, slightly more than half of a pump and then I go in and wash my face for 60 seconds but I do mine for 1 minute and 20 seconds just going in through the crevices every part of the skin of the face not forgetting the bridge of the nose the cheeks you know I go in one minute rule that's what they say is enough time for you to go in and work that soap and clear all the debris from your skin and yeah so I go in and even into my chin and uh, yeah here I'm using my makeup remover to just clean clean that off and I don't like washing my face on the sink you can see all the mess that's going through my hands and my neck it's I prefer using the shower <clears throat> because today is retinol day I'm going in with a CeraVe ointment I love this thing very much the first thing I always do is putting a bit of it onto my lips <clears throat> and you will see me going in with it into the sensitive bits that's the corner of my lips the what do you call it the corner of the nose <laughs> the corner of the eyes so I go in with that because retinol is a bit um, harsh on the skin so I just uh, try where the skin is thin I try to put a layer of the CeraVe ointment here you can use Vaseline you can use Aquaphor you can use Arimis for my Kenyan babes and Kenyan gentlemen you can use Arimis so I'm going with the gold molecules retinol and putting a pea size I don't know if that's a pea size don't come for me that's not a pea size and oops I put some of it on my mouth and I'm not supposed to so yeah just uh, spot it out and dot it out and uh, apply it evenly on my face my neck and my chest I always tell people do not forget your neck and also at some point you will see me going in with the leftover retinol or the leftover skincare that I use I always go in with it in my hands here I'm just pressing it in just to to have all that settle in on my face well you can see applying some of it on my hands because they say if you want to see how someone is aging you check their hands the back of their hands so here I'm going with the secret key eye cream I am those people I apply eye cream in the AM and the PM people say eye cream is unnecessary but for me I love it it's necessary for me especially this one from secret key I love it so much so I'm going to link down in the description box every um, product that I use and if and I'm going to link down the Instagram pages where I got them so here you see me going in with the CeraVe PM I love this one so much especially for my oily skin 
because um, it has salicylic acid, it has hyaluronic acid, and it has ceramides. So it goes in deep into the skin, and I love it so much. Sometimes I even use it in the AM, but uh, yeah, in my morning routine. But uh, most of the time, I just use it in my nighttime routine. So same thing, going in, not forgetting the neck, not forgetting the a bit of the chest, and uh, yeah again pressing it in so that it just goes into it deeply and then again you see me wiping some on my hands again <laughs> CeraVe ointment my this is what I use as my lip mask so I will use it and then here you see me doing it with the pimple patches and different sizes but now I'm not gonna use one because I don't have any typical pimples now let's get into shower time this is the next morning this is a uh, shower time you see me at first just getting in and just wetting my body and just having a bit of water run into it and it also feels good so yeah that's what i start with then um i use a uh, different types of bath soap this is the geranium and uh, chamomile from cinnabar and then there's the dove soap from cinnabar but the, i mean from dove <laughs> and today we are going to use cinnabar so i'm going to use uh, some exfoliating gloves here you see me just putting uh wetting it with a bit of water before i go in with the the if I go in and start uh, my base cleanse, this is my base cleanse. So, you know, just getting rid of the, the dirt. Do not forget your back. I used to have serious back knee, but after sticking to this uh, specific routine, I don't have back knee anymore. And yeah, so do not forget your back. <laughs> as the water and the soap that's coming from the top part of your body is washing the legs that is the absolute ghetto let us wash our legs rinsing the legs I go in into exfoliation time and I use different types of body scrubs that's the first type that I use then I also use this one from Cinnabar and I also use another one from Bath and Body Works but today we're gonna use this one from Cinnabar it's a lot messy a lot messy but I love it it does the job it leaves my skin feeling baby soft as a baby's bum apart from it being messy it does the job and i highly highly recommend this body scrub from cinnabar cinnabar is actually a kenyan brand and they are based in like hippia kenya you can see all that mess it's causing on the on the floor on the walls and it looks like i'm just rinsing off mud <laughs> from my skin but when I tell you it does the job, it definitely does the job. My skin feels so good. After that, we now get into shaving. I use the Shave and Shower from Bath & Body Works. Again, I'm going to put in the description box where I got this. And um, you can see me going in. I have not... Uh, 
put the water out because I just shaved two days before this so this is just a touch up it's just going in for a touch up but normally when I am shaving like if I'm not shaved for a week or something I have a lot of hair growing so I, I put out the water and shave here you see me going in with the main razor the big one it is a three blade razor I usually use three to five blade razor but today I'm going in with the three one and you see me shaving against the grain to prevent um, ingrown hairs, to prevent uh, you know, um, you know, scarring myself. And on the knee, you see me going across. I look like I'm a bit rough, but trust me, I'm not rough. It is, it is very. Um, what do I say? It's doing the job. It's not rough at all. So, so yeah. So after rinsing all that off, we now get into food care. I usually use black soap and a food scraper. I'm not throwing shade, but if you use black soap on your face, it's okay too. <laughs> but that's just me. So I use black, black soap on my feet and maybe hair when I'm washing my hair. That's where, I, that's where I say the black soap belongs. So here I'm just going in, scrubbing my legs. And in about three seconds, you will see how I almost lost all my teeth in the shower. Be careful with the shower, guys. So now, I'm just continuing with the rest of my body care. You will notice that I have a very serious tan. It looks like I'm still um, having on my swimsuit. I was I was in the coast the other day and the sun moved a few inches down and it left my whole body. Apart from where I was having my swimsuit, it left my whole body with a serious tan. Anyway, here you see me going in again with the Finaba body scrub and you will realize I did not shave my armpits. I did not shave my armpits because I used to get serious um, razor bumps. So I wax my armpits instead and my lady parts, I wax them. I have a very nice waxing lady and uh, yeah, I can also actually link her on the description box so that you, you, you may get to, you know, try her out. So just rinsing off the the body scrub before we go in with our second cleanse. You can notice the tan. I don't know if you can notice but I can notice. So I go in with this uh, washcloth. I love it so much because it has um, on the ends. I can I can hold it and scrub my back. Then here I'm going in with the Dove Vanilla and Shea Butter. Let me tell you, I love this body wash so much. I have used it I think since it came into existence. And oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells yummy. So here I just repeat the process. I also wash my back. You can see how I use it to scrub my back. And I love it. I don't have acne anymore so and I love it because of starting I don't use a loofah anymore because loofahs hold a lot of um, bacteria so I prefer going in with the exfoliating gloves and this type of washcloths so just rinsing that off and there you can notice the tan yeah it's a bit serious it affected my whole body whole body even the legs so here I'm going in with the Uzoni wash from my Happy Vagina. Let me tell you, this is the deal. I love it so much. It leaves that minty feeling down there. And um, I, I, there's so much um, controversy or so much should be washed down there using anything apart from water. Inside cleans itself, but outside, ladies, let us wash the outside and let us wash the backside also. We need... Um, that area to be clean 
so after that i go in with the coffee exfoliating lip scrub from bath and body works i'm also going to link it down and where i got that from so i just go in with it and scrub my my lips and this thing smells like coffee it will wake you up i love it it exfoliates the lips so well and leave leave it very moisturized I will just rinse that off and then I go in and do my and wash my face <laughs> yeah wash my face I wash my face with lukewarm water I don't wash my face with uh, hot water because it dries up the skin a bit so I prefer using lukewarm water just going in with the same cleanser I used last night which is La Roche Posay uh, is it Tolerian or Tolerian <laughs> purifying foaming cleanser and uh, aside from that, I also use the salicylic acid cleanser from the Inky List. And I also use the Tatcha. Sometimes when I want to be bougie, I use the Tatcha Dewy, Dewy Skin Cleanser. So here you see me going in with the makeup remover again. I put a bit of the cleanser on it and wash the back of my ears. Ladies and gentlemen. Let us wash the back of our ears. Let me tell you, it is filthy. Filthy. If you see me looking at it, I have seen the filth. <laughs> anyway, it's important to wash the back of our ears every single day. So yeah, I'll just rinse that off. going in with the makeup remover again to just dab and uh, it's very it's very smooth it's not rough at all and that's why I love it and then now as my last step in the shower I go in with baby oil when my skin is still wet I don't have any specific one that I use I just go in with it this conditions the body but there are body conditioners for this and um, if you'd like me to do another updated skincare routine with the conditioner and all that let me know down in the comment section and I will do one so after that I just go in and dab do not wipe yourself as if you're getting rid of another dead skin layer on your on your body. I just dab a bit and I am out of the shower. So I will see you at the after shower body care. So here, ladies and gentlemen, just a commercial break to show you that it's important to have flushable water wipes in your loo or in your toilet. So here for the after shower care, you see me going in with the different body lotions. There's Dahlia, You Are The One, and Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. I also use the um, Dove um, lotion, but today I'm going in with the Dahlia to pair it with its fragrance mist. And I'm just going to lotion up my entire body, the thighs, the legs. Let us not only lotion up where it can be seen. Gentlemen, especially, I'm speaking to you. You dress up, you finish, and then you say, oh, my knuckles are being seen. Let me lotion up that. Oh, I'm wearing sandals. My feet are being seen. Let me lotion up that. Oh, hell no. We are lotioning up the entire body. water it's just for preventing um, order so I usually use that before I use my bio stick so I just go in with it um, on my armpits and also after wiping the booty crack well you go in with the cotton round with that and then the five in one summer's eve I just spray a bit not on the kitty area but on the booty crack area <laughs> then now we go on to foot care I use the Joanne verse or the three months barefoot foot lotion so yeah I'm running out of it <laughs> but yeah um, I go in with it and uh, 
just apply it to my feet, the soles of the feet, to make the feet, you know, soft and smooth, so that you do not tear up those nice white bed sheets. So here I'm just doing any the fragrance mist on my entire body for that smell good. Every time I'm touching the CeraVe, what goes in first? My lips. I love it so much. And here you will see me going in with it um, where I'm going to be using my perfume for my wrist. You'll see me rubbing that together. But you will notice for the perfume, I will not be rubbing that together. So they usually say it breaks down molecules of the perfume. So it's not good to rub the perfume. But for this one, um, I apply it there so that um, the perfume can actually, the scent can last longer. And yeah, I'm a bit extra. I apply perfume at the back of my legs. Yep. So um, on days that I'm just chilling, I go in with this smell scent from Michael's. This is the charcoal scent. But when I'm feeling all lady, lady like, bougie like, I go in with this Signorina. Is it Signorina or Signorina? I go in with this one. <laughs> so here you just see me applying it on my wrists and not rubbing it together, on my neck, on my hands, and again, on the back of my legs. And after that, we'll jump into the skincare. So for the morning skincare routine, I go in with this Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. This was a small gift from um, Sephora for my birthday in January. So it's just a sample one and I love it very much and definitely going to purchase it. It's a luxury brand. So when I'll be having it, it will be for those special days. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going in with it to my entire face, my neck, and some parts of my chest. I usually start with the vitamin C, but um, unfortunately, I ran, out, I ran out of it. So I usually use this Timeless with ferulic acid and vitamin E, but I ran out of it. Ran out of it. So for the eye cream, I'm just going to go in with the same one that I went in with last night and it's just to prevent the puffiness that's going on around in my eyes in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget sunscreen. Let us wear our sunscreen. It is very important because if you do not, the rest of the skincare does not make sense anyway. For this one, I got this is the Suncut uh, Kose. It's a Japanese brand, yes. So I go in with the two finger rule, and I love it so much because it is waterproof for people who sweat a lot, like me on the face. Um, it's waterproof, and it does not require so much energy to rub into the face, and it does not leave a white cast, and that's why I really love it. So, ladies and gentlemen. If you've gotten to this part of the video thank you very much for coming to my youtube my first youtube channel subscribe like and share it with everybody so that we can learn more on hygiene and lifestyle and just fun time so here is the uh dio stick that i use and the lock spray that i use so until next time see ya